Hey guys, here I am again with another little trick. Um, I've pimped up my uh, domino to be able to do some blind domino holes so where I can just sort of cap them off uh, rather than push dominoes in because I'm making this, um, I'll put it around here, I'm making this a bunk bed and these are the sort of steps, there's two of them. I've got drawers in between. I want to join them together but I'm trying to do it this weekend so I've got to try and quickly move along but to domino together by myself it's it's a big it's 1500 by 1200 and it's a bit difficult um, and heavy so I'm just going to do a bit of cheating and the cheating is I've got some shallow domino holes and I've created the shallow domino holes by see in there uh, see in there I've got a little sheath and that's a little stopper and that stops the cutter from going in too deep so I've got the cutter going in about sort of about sort of, uh, how can I say, about four, four or five mil. And what I'll do is I'll drill a hole in, I'll drill a hole in the middle here, and that'll be a screw hole, and then I'll just cap it off with the domino and then sand it off. Because um, like I say, I'm trying to get this done quickly. But anyway, beside the point, what I've got is, I've, this is my little, you know, I forget the, this one is only a support because I'm right at the very end of this one, but this normally doesn't, you don't need this. So what I've done is I've put the rail in here using the yellow box dogs, which are underneath the rail here, which lock in. So this is locked in now, can't go anywhere. I've got some yellow box shed dogs across here to line it all up so that this, this is square, this is 90 degrees to um, this edge. Then if I come along here, I've come back, I've used my marker. As you can see, there's my marker for where the center line of the domino is and all i just do is and it's a bit more difficult here because i've got this and in there it's a matter of trying to see uh inside there and you can see the line and that's where i line it up anyway so basically i go along basically i can just slide it along i can slide the dominoes whoops i can slide the dominoes anywhere in between now oops slip that back like I say this is only just a, a, a sort of a support board for it at the moment once I get down the sheet further when I get down for the sheet it's it's supported both sides so it's a lot easier although <laughs> it's probably not because I'm going to be on the edge again um, in fact I, I think I'm going to be on the edge everywhere um, but yeah look this is a little unit I made it's just blocked it's got a little block here that just screws into the same holes in the bottom of the domino this I think was one of the um, fest tool uh, heck, uh, I think what was the Festool? Um, oh, I can't remember. I think it was might have been for the mitre of the Capex saw, where you can do crown mitres or something like that. Um, I bought them, but never used them. You know, typical of me buying stuff and probably never using it. But <laughs> uh, this is great. You know, kind of like this is really handy, and it goes along like so. Anyway, I just thought I'd sort of share it you know obviously it's like it's a domino and I just plunge it down and plunge it back so I don't need to have to show you that because I'm trying to carry the camera in one hand you know me photography skills so there's today's tip well this afternoon's tip maybe I'll give you some more tips tomorrow because I'll give you tips as I'm working through and using different things that you might get some advantage of okay all right guys well have a nice day and um it's gonna get a bit dark because uh Daylight savings over now and next thing you know it'll be pitch black and I'll think it's time to go in, put my pyjamas on and go to bed and it'll be six o'clock. <laughs> okay, see you guys.